your thoughts are not your own. They're downloaded from someplace. And if you can edit those negative thoughts, that negative thought must be foreign, so you just edit it. You just say, thank you for sharing, and you go on. Welcome back to Inspire Change with the Mulligan Brothers. I'm your host, Jordan Mulligan, and today's episode is about editing your negative thoughts with a very, very special guest, the good witch, Shelly Rogers. She has an incredible following on Instagram where she uses spirituality guidance and teachings around a good witch to help better your life. This has been one of my favorite interviews of the year. Today's video is sponsored by the sale now on at mulliganbrothers.com. Use code BLACK before Friday, Black Friday, and get buy one, get one free across everything from the journals, the posters, the t-shirts, the hoodies. Mix and match, get your cheapest item free at mulliganbrothers.com, link in the description. But before that, let's dive into this incredible clip about editing your negative thoughts with The Good Witch. How can somebody edit negative thoughts and why should they? Editing negative thoughts is important because your thoughts are not your own. They're downloaded from someplace and they're reinforced by emotional feelings. And then you project that out and you get the same thing back. You get um, those, you track those negative thoughts, you reinvent those negative feelings, you put that out and you get more back. And if you can edit those negative thoughts and recreate that positive feeling, um, and, you, and it really takes practice. First off, you have to recognize that you have negative thoughts in your head. And I do that with kumihimo, braiding, thinking about it and not thinking about it. And if I'm doing something down here and there's negative thoughts going through my head, then what is it that, where is that coming from? You know, what somebody else thinks of me. Where is that coming from? It's not coming from the braiding part. It's coming from a, a, a unconscious part of me. And, be, and because I understand that I'm whole, perfect, and complete as I am, that that negative thought must be foreign, so you just edit it. You just say, thank you for sharing, and you go on. Um, and, and I encourage people to walk 20 minutes a day. And if you're out in nature and you're in a beautiful space, what is your thinking doing? Are you thinking about yesterday or tomorrow? That's depression, that's anxiety. You're in a space right now where you should be in the moment. What is going on? And paying attention to where your thoughts are and trying to redirect them into the moment. That's that 20 minutes, because if your body is working uh, in a rhythmic uh, reciprocal pattern, you're, you're not thinking about making your body work, that's automatic. And if you've got automatic thinking going through, then you have a chance to observe that and change it. And so I always say 20 minutes a day, whether you want to or not, or Meditation helps because you sit there and you're actually looking at what that thought is. You're getting, closing your eyes, looking and, and quieting your mind. And then every little thought that comes back is a gift. Every one that comes across is a gift because it tells you what's dominating your mind. And you say, thank you. And then, if those are thoughts that don't serve you, you just say thank you and you release it. Um, and the other one is play. If you're engaged in play, or if you're, if you're engaged in that space where you're observing the world and you're involved with those form, shape comparisons and you have a negative thought, where'd that come from? It's not constructive. So you just have to release it. And, and when I have a, a chance to program my mind, to program my thinking, in the, you know, I always tell people, brush your teeth and make your bed. 
So you have a place to go back to that's organized. And at night, you sit and say, I did a good job here. I fell a little short on my goals here. I'm going to look at the way I do things tomorrow. When I wake up in the morning and my body tells me it's awake, I start saying, what are my, my goals and dreams for today? And how am I going to embody that which brings me joy each day? And if I didn't love my work, I wouldn't do it. And so I get to go out and do what fills me up every day. And that's the way I say, Witch, you're doing a good job. You know, it's like, get out there and have fun. How do we find kindness? Like, how, how would we go about finding kindness if someone was to ask? Well, we have to be that which we want to see. We have to be in this universe the way we want the universe to be. So if you want kindness, you be kind. If you want love, you be love. And so that's my intention. This is a kind universe and I intend on demonstrating that. That was such a wonderful quote right there. Thank you for that. Um, you, you say you've been in uh, you've been married 40 years. I've been married 35 years. 35 years? Yeah. What's the secret? Respect. He will never be a reflection of me and I will never be a reflection of him, but I love and respect who he is. And I don't, I don't have expectations of him fulfilling my needs. I love it when he gives me loving support, but I fulfill my needs. And I think the greatest thing about him is my love and respect. I know how he's going to behave. He loves my children as much or more than I do. You know, and people always say, aren't they both of your children? And I go, well, yeah, but I'm a mama bear, you know? And it's wonderful to know that there's another person on earth that loves and respects my children as I do. And I can always go to that. There is our first introduction to Shelley Rogers, the good witch. She has an incredible following on Instagram, but her story is even more impressive. This character that she has and that uses to help people, um, yeah, has amassed an amazing following. But what a lot of people don't know is the life story behind her. So at the moment we're creating a documentary. I'm actually flying to LA tomorrow to go interview her again for a second time and film a little bit more for the documentary on the main channel. Um, she's gone through cancer. She's been a therapist. She uses um, plant medicines to heal. She was an alcoholic and all these incredible things that she's been through, she's learned lessons through on her journey and she just articulates it with perfection. So if you wanna hear more from Shelly Rogers, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and stick around because she's gonna be featuring more on the channel very soon. Today's video was made possible by the sale on Black Friday at mulliganbrothers.com. Use code BLACK at checkout for mix and match, buy one, get one free across everything in the range from the journals, the Memento Mori posters, the hoodies, everything is buy one, get one free with the link in the description. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed and productive day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.